Welcome to the hands-on session with the select queries. In the introduction slide in the previous lecture, we have seen what are the different types of select queries that we have and how are we going to be using them inside the program. So each and every select query will have different use cases to be used inside the program and I will tell you what are the recommended methods and the not recommended methods in our hands-on now. Let me go into transaction code SE38 because it's a part of reporting. Let me type in Z select underscore zero one. I'm going to hit on create demo for select queries executable program click on save I'm going to save it in the local objects now the first thing that I'm going to do here declare a data statement and declare a work area referring to a stan standard table called Mara and an internal table referring to the standard table Mara so you can ask me a very good question in the previous examples we created a structure and to the structure that we have created we have declared an internal table at the work area but here we have not declared any structure but we are using a work area and internal table referring to a table called Mara so what is this Mara so Mara itself is called as a standard table if you want to see what is inside the Mara you go to SC11 transaction code and type in Mara click on display and you can see that this table name is general material data and it is going to contain some fields if you want to see the fields click on the contents button execute it you'll see these are the contents of Mara standard table now with the help of some values I'm going to write a select query to select and fetch some group of records and return as an output report so I'm going to use a key field called MATNR you can see key fields is denoted by two tick marks and I'm going to use this as my selection criteria what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write a select query which fetches the fields from Mara table records from Mara table it's used to give as an output very simple we have seen the general format of how to write a select query so select query starts with select keyword select star you are aware that star represents selecting everything that represents star so select star from followed by the table table name it's Mara here and once you are selecting it in a bunch I told you in the basic principles of work and internal table we have seen like when you have a bulk amount of records you're going to go into the internal table directly and port the contents so into table it where condition matnr matnr is a key field so i'm using matnr i'm going to use lt lt stands for less than as per the introduction we had with relational operators i'm going to say thousand so my program will fetch all the records whose matnr value is less than thousand now everything is in the internal table you very well know from internal table you cannot display anything so I'm going with the loop at statement loop at it into work area and I'm going to write some write keyword in this write keyword I'm not going to select everything rather I'm going to uh, display certain fields let me say I want to display MATNR I want to display ERSDA, ERNAM, PSTAT and okay let us display these four fields how do you display nothing but wea hyphen matnr comma wea hyphen ersda wea hyphen ernam and wea hyphen psdat that's all save your program check for issues activate your program execute your program so your select query has fetched fields less than thousand so 
this type of select query using the internal table is called as an array fetch and this is the recommended methodology that is used inside the very complex program because the processing time when you use this type of select query is faster when you compare it with the others this is called as an array fetch now let me open a new transaction code for SC38 let me change the name to underscore zero two and demo for loop fetch this select query is not a recommended model but it is always good to know that both recommended and non recommended sometimes this may be of use to you I'm going to use the same process here I'm going to use a uh, data work area type Mara internal table type table of Mara write a select query so select star from Mara into this time it's not into the internal table so if you see the difference between this and this is I put my contents into the internal table into table IT but what I'm going to do here into work area with a condition where MATNR less than 1000 the condition is the same but you are aware that work area is capable of holding only one record during the runtime so what is the alternative the alternative is write an append keyword append work area to internal table clear your work area and I'm going to say end select now the select statement is going to act as a loop now everything is pushed to the internal table loop at it into work area and I'm going to write the same fields hyphen matnr hyphen ersta w hyphen ernam w hyphen pstat the one difference between this and the previous program is that in the select statement of the previous program at the end of that statement the entire internal table is populated but here every time one one record is been sent to the internal table so that many times the process will keep on going that's the demerit of this particular process let us check this save it check it activate the process and execute the process it will yield the same result but in very complex scenarios you will see the time gap between this and the previous statement so this is called as a loop fetch for you which is not recommended to be used in complex scenarios and finally we have one very very important topic to be discussed that is called as a selective fetch so selective fetch means instead of putting star you're going to put some values the key values so let me say three click on create demo for selective fetch I'm going to say this is going to be an executable program save it local objects now once again data work area type Mara internal table type table of Mara this is all fine now I'm going to use the selection screen options you know very well I have select options and parameter here I'm going to use select options s underscore matnr for Mara hyphen matnr so you very well know when I use the select options I have to use a keyword along with that called tables and I'm going to represent Mara here now next comes the interesting part I'm going to write a select statement and instead of star I'm going to give the field names matnr ersda ernam pstat from mara into table id so since you are using selective fetch you have to give into corresponding fields of table id 
so where MADNR in S underscore MADNR and now it's going to be the normal display procedure loop at IT into work area but in here you can only display the selected fields so slash WA hyphen MADNR hyphen ERSDA WA hyphen ERNAM WA hyphen PSTAT uh, that's all these are the three types of select queries let me check this activate it execute this so now we give a range for this particular select statement to work so let me say a range take a range let me give my own range let me give 1000 to 5000 so you're getting from 1000 to 5000 records hope you have enjoyed the session see you in the next session thank you